everyone, uh, it's Rohan here from EOS Authority. Um, I hope you're all able to vote. We've been getting questions and there are some people who can't make it all the way till the end. There are issues with the voting portals and so on. So we've released uh, a little voting portal of our own and uh, I'd like to quickly show you how to vote on our portal. Uh, so if you head to https colon slash slash eosauthority.com slash vote and you go to a page which says vote for EOS Authority. This tool requires Scatter to work and if Scatter is not in place, uh, it'll ask you to request, it'll request you to install Scatter. Uh, depending on your browser, it could be Firefox or Chrome. Uh, we have an install Scatter button here. When you click on it, it'll take you to the Scatter installation page. Uh, on the URL, you should be taken to the Chrome Web Store, and uh, the URL should say chrome.google.com. And take a note of this ID. This is a unique ID for Scatter, AMM, JPM, and so on, and it ends with a CEO, JKLE. If you see this, you are at the right place. That's excellent. Click on Add to Chrome, and you add an ex you add the Scatter extension to Chrome. Once you do that, your uh, scatter extension is loaded onto Chrome and you can see it right there. Click on it and scatter will ask you to set a password. Set up the same password twice um, and once you do that it gives you a unique mnemonic. Uh, write this down and so on. You can even um, delete scatter after you vote and things if your private key is safe somewhere else. So. Um, yeah, so I'm done there. As soon as you're done, this is the latest scatter version. It's 5.0.2. They finally, uh, Nathan finally managed, managed to add this in there. So this means you don't have to do any extra steps. It's all right there. You can go straight to key pairs and import your private key. This is a moment that you will be taking your private key from wherever you have it safe and putting it into uh, scatter. Please note, you're not putting this on any website or anything of that sort. It's going straight into Scatter. Uh, so add a new key pair. EOS is selected by default. Based in your private key, it automatically, as usual, generates your public key. Give it a name. So say my live key, and then you save it. And that's just so you have the, the key saved in there. Now head back into identities. Um, you'll have a default random name in there already. Uh, what you'll have to do now is click on edit and then pick the chain ID and match it with the um, yeah with the key that you just updated. So let me do that. But before I do, let me put in my actual private key. I didn't actually use it in the video so far. Uh, I'll be back in one minute. Excellent. So now let us continue. Uh, setting up the account. What I'll do next is I go into identities there and I can see, uh, I can go into edit. I can see the chain ID here. So this is the actual EOS main chain. It starts with ACA376 and so on. I select it, I go into the keys and I can see my live key there. I click on import and there you go. You get your, it connects to the EOS main chain and using your public key, it figures out what your account name is. So I click on the active key. This is important. Please only use the active account. Uh, active and owner keys are amazing features of EOS that we'll discuss in a future video. Uh, basically, the owner key has more privileges, more control, and so on. Uh, but yeah, for now, use the active key, use selected account, and save. And you're all set up. So once you see your account name there and all of this. You don't have to open Scatter anymore. Scatter is fully connected. Um, now, if you go back to the voting portal, uh, and now you, you've given a few options. Yeah, uh, please click on Connect EOS Network. And previously, we used to have a pop-up and all kinds of things. You just go straight and it's done. And now you click on Import EOS Account. Again, Scatter will ask you, hey, which account do you want to connect to EOS Authority for voting? If you have multiple public keys, you'll see multiple accounts here. Just pick one and say accept. And so now your 
private key is con your yeah your account's added in you then choose to vote for eos authority you can also add more bps if you want to just click on the link and then um, type in the names of the account names of the bps that you'd like to vote for uh, but for now uh, that's all done there is a ricardian contract in here that if you expand this is not eos authority terms it's actually within the actual smart contract uh, just read through uh, it's nothing to do with us again it just says that the intent of the vote producer action is to cast up to 30 block producer votes um, this is my account name and i'm not really signing it repeat it twice it says uh, i'm voting for eos authority and with my tokens and so on and it gives you all of this this is standard terms as part of the vote producers ricardian contract ricardian contracts are fairly amazing it's something unique about eos again it actually states your intent and uh, for an action which yeah you can read up more information about it if you click on the checkbox there and if you say vote scatter again wants you to verify this is the action it says a system producer system call eosio contracts being called with the vote producer action this is the voter i'm just voting for one candidate and i say accept and there you go the vote has been cast and it's all done so it's a fairly quick process now with the new scatter version you just set up everything on scatter come back here click this button three times and you have voted um, at any point at the end you can click on the voting progress here we are nearly halfway there not yet halfway but just below halfway there uh, once we get to 15 percent the network's active and you'll be able to uh, yeah perform all your transactions and then we'll be seeing more taps coming out and it's going to be amazing but yeah thank you uh thank you for your interest in voting it's fairly important to vote and yeah wish you all the best thank you mm -hmm.